Hello there, my interweb friends. It's your old pal Jason here with another movie review. Today, I'll be talking about Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. But before I get started, I will be talking a few spoilers. So if you haven't seen Frozen Empire yet and you don't want it spoiled for you, stop the video, go check it out, and come on back and we can talk about it. But now that we're past the spoiler warning, let's dive in, shall we? I want to start things off by saying Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is not a perfect film. It was pretty good, it had a lot going on, but overall, I really, really enjoyed it. One of the big things about this movie is that it was saddled with two major tasks. One, establishing a brand new villain in Garaka, something we've never seen before, so there's a lot of history and backstory that had to be covered. I will admit that does kind of cause a little lag through the central part of the film's runtime, but, there are some fun story beats, some good character moments, and it is quite enjoyable. And Garaka is quite a formidable adversary. Another thing this film is saddled with, most like closing the book on the Egon Spangler story, this film was actually tasked with forging a new path ahead since the Ghostbusters are not only back in New York, but they're growing, they're evolving. There's much more going on. There's a much bigger organization at work. Winston has some very big plans for the Ghostbusters as a whole. And I think they handled it quite well. Again, that saddled with introducing Garaka kind of causes the middle of the film to lag a little bit. But for the most part, I really had fun. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the final act climax. Typically, you get these big overblown set pieces in these Ghostbuster movies. Like you had the Statue of Liberty in Ghostbusters 2. You had the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man in the original Ghostbusters. You even had Gozer return in Ghostbusters Afterlife. And yes, Garaka is a massive threat, and he did unleash quite a bit of mayhem upon the city of New York. But it was cool, this kind of personal last stand at the firehouse was very different. It was very close quarters, and I kind of liked that. I kind of liked that it all took place at their house, and that was really interesting. It was really satisfying. It could have been bigger. The stakes could have been raised a bit higher, but overall, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really tense and it was really interesting. And of course, you know, Phoebe once again comes in and saves the day just like she did in the previous film. And I thought that was really cool. It was a really neat arc for her character as well. Overall, I really enjoyed this film. It's not great. You know, it does kind of lag a little bit. And, you know, some of the jokes are hit and miss like with any comedy film. I really enjoyed the stakes. I really enjoyed that they're building this world up even further by creating newer villains and newer mythologies. And I hope they continue to expand upon that. Maybe not quite as drawn out and as in depth as in this film, but you know, it is more satisfying to get more specters and ghosts. And I really hope they do that more in the future. Honestly, even though I really enjoyed this film, I would say setting aside the original film afterlife is still my favorite. Because, of course, you know, nothing compares to the original film, but I really, personally, really enjoyed Afterlife. But Ghostbusters Frozen Empire was definitely a good, solid entry in the franchise. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot of fun. It really felt good to return to New York City and to have these big, dramatic stakes. And I just want to see more. I can't wait to see more films. But that is just my opinion. Let me know what you thought of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire down in the comments. What was your favorite part? Did you have certain expectations for the film? I want to hear from you. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that like button. You want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get updates on all my future videos. You can also follow my social media pages. Links down in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you on the next one. Bye.